Home Sweet Home, Part 2. Out in the natural world, we can admire beautiful fog banks rising up and over green forest areas and lake surfaces. Fog is actually very low clouds formed by countless little drops of water which float just above the ground, keeping our planet moist and forming the basis of life. In comparison, what we can admire in dense banks of smog rising up from the streets in industrial zones. This smog is filled with toxic particles which come from the burning of all types of fossil fuels. Smog not only pollutes the air, it also endangers all forms of life on Earth. It's up to mankind to either pollute the environment, gradually poison themselves and perish, or look carefully at the natural world surrounding him and preserve it and take care of it so it can continue on its process of regeneration. Let's go! We're really high up and a plane could pass by at any minute and scare the heck out of us! Look over there! Do you remember the fire? Of course! What a disaster! That fire destroyed all those trees and almost made you melt. It was horrible. All I have to do is just think about it and I'll start melting all over again. <laughs> it will take the forest many years to recover. Trees don't grow overnight, you know. The house where we look for help for Frosty so that he wouldn't wind up melting must be around here somewhere. That's for sure. I get the feeling we're almost on top of it, don't you? Maybe Milky might still be there. Huh, Nimbus? Oh, uh, Milky? What Milky? Get off it, Nimbus. Don't pretend you don't remember Milky. That little drop of milk you fell in love with? In love? Me? Ugh. I don't remember anything like that. Since we're here, we could go say hi to her. But if you don't want to... I never said I didn't want to. It's always good manners to drop by and visit your friends. I think we should go over there. Fasten your seatbelts. Here we go. Okay, okay, Nimbus. There's no big hurry. Careful, Nimbus. Ah! Ah! We hit it! It was the bird's fault. It wasn't yielding to the right. Don't be silly. You were the one who was flying around without looking where you were going. Don't you think there are more birds than normal in this part of the forest? I guess before they had their nests in the burnt forest. Oh! Wow! Oh, Nimbus, I think we ought to get out of here as fast as we can. I don't want that bird to get any ideas about eating us. Come on, let's go! Oh! Help! It's begging me! It's begging me! Oh, Nimbus! Oh. Did it hurt you, Frosty? Actually, it didn't hurt at all. <laughs> yeah, you do have a hard head, buddy. <laughs> so what do you say we go down to the house? How do you like my Mary Poppins imitation? <laughs> Looks kind of prissy, if you ask me. <laughs> Look, clouds of smoke are pouring out of the chimney. It's not smoke, it's steam, like me. 
So that means that they've got water today. That's for sure. Do you guys remember the last time we were here? The family were having a really serious problem because the water had been cut off. Hello there. Have you put some water on to boil? Yes. They've put a pot on the stove and have just tossed some potatoes, carrots, and peas in it. They're cooking dinner. It's making me hungry already, and it smells delicious. Isn't it strange how a cloud of steam can carry smells along like that? I'm formed by the evaporation of boiling water, but since the vegetables are bobbing around in it, I carry tiny droplets of water from the potatoes, carrots, and peas to us. So that's why you smell so good. But why don't you ever stay the same shape? You just rise up in the air and then you disappear. This is what happens to steam. I don't stick around anywhere for long. My little drops of water are so tiny and they expand so fast that they've disappeared into the atmosphere before you can say rapid evaporation. It's just the way I am. So why doesn't that happen to Nimbus then? Well, that's because Nimbus is a very special cloud. <laughs> if you allow us, we'd like to go inside, passing through you. We want to visit some friends that live in this house. Well, you can count me out of that. I'm not going to go down through a chimney full of all that hot steam. Before I got to the bottom, I'd have melted down to nothing. Oh, you sure would. I didn't think about that. Well then, friend, see you later. We're going to go in through the window. Goodbye, my friends. See you later. Yeehaw! Fasten your seatbelts. Here we go again! What are you trying to do? There was no need to fly in here like a madman. Milky might not even be here. How strange. I just got hit right on the head by a hailstone, but outside it's a beautiful, hot, sunny day. It's all those nuclear tests. We humans are going crazy. Oh my, what a surprise. What on earth are you doing here, Nose Drop? Raindrop. Oh, of course. I do apologize. So where's your friend, the big, strong, handsome one they call Nimbus? <clears throat> uh, here I am. Uh, we were in the neighborhood and uh, <clears throat> wanted to say hi. So that's why we had to come blasting through the window like a hurricane. Nimbus, you're crazy! You were so eager to see Milky, you nearly finished us all off! Next time you want to break the sound barrier, have a thought for your passengers! I could have shattered when I fell, and that poor man can't understand it! A hailstone falling on his head out of nowhere! Hello, Frosty. I hope you didn't hurt yourself when you fell. Oh, no! No! No, thanks to Nimbus! I can't wait to hear all your news. It's so good to see you. Here, give me your hand. Ooh. Oh, isn't that just marvelous? I've been wanting to feel that little tingle again. Uh, uh, yeah. Don't worry. That was a, a little spark of happiness that burst out of me when I saw you again. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> a spark of happiness. <laughs> a spark that burst out of me when I saw you. <laughs> Look at him. He's like a bowl full of jelly. And just a moment ago, he was trying to pretend that he didn't know Milky from a hole in the wall. <laughs> Do we always have to be wherever he is? Over there is Flu. What an unpleasant coincidence. Coincidence? That evil germ is all over the place. We'll never be free of him. I don't like that look he's got on his face. Check out the way he's looking at the bottle. What are you talking about? Did I hear the word bottle? You sure did. Look, those germs are ready to contaminate it. Oh, goodness. You're right. It looks like they're going to jump on the nipple to get it all dirty. If we put our dirty hands on the nipple, 
and I'll give the baby quite a bad tummy ache. <laughs> He'll cry so much his parents will get sick just from hearing it. <laughs> we'll go over there, but that's really high up. Don't be a coward. Just over there is part of a spider's web that we can use to get right down on the bottle. You think so? Of course I do. Let's go. Ah! I'm going over there to keep him from getting anything dirty. Don't worry, you hunk. The baby's already eaten, and now his mom's going to boil the bottle to sterilize it. Does she always do that? She always boils the bottle to keep harmful germs from making her baby sick. And what's more is that Flu looks like he's got problems. <laughs> Look at him, he's stuck. Why don't you jump, Flu? There isn't anything I'd like more than that, but I'm stuck to this sticky freaking spider web. Uh-oh, we've got problems. The spider's here for a visit. I don't think it's here for a visit. I think it's meal time. Stop moving around, you idiots. You're crushing my head. <laughs> Looks like the spider's hungry. Pshaw, I don't think it's going to eat them. Not even a spider could have such bad taste. Come on, do something. We have to get out of here. I'm stuck too. I've got eight feet and I can't even move one. Oh, it's coming to get me! Ah! Ah! A spider fell in the bottle. Of course, you're bound to come across a spider when you live in the country. It's crawling with ants and spiders! But we've got peace and quiet here, and there's no noise or pollution. And the fresh air is good for the kids. Why are you screaming, Mom? What happened? Uh, throw away this bottle, sweetie. It's dirty. You don't have to throw it away. We'll boil it, and it'll be clean again. I want him to throw it away. After seeing the spider on the nipple, I just don't want to use it again. That's fine. Okay. Throw it away, but it's not necessary. We can clean it up really well. At least the spider's gone. But now we're gonna have to see where the little brat tosses us away. Don't worry, he's gonna throw us into the garbage can, and we'll be right at home there. Nothing but dirt. <laughs> bye bye, bottle. That nasty bottle. This kid's crazy. He's thrown us into the toilet. And he's about to flush. Goodbye, cruel world. Daddy, the toilet flusher got stolen. Somebody stole it. Who took it? <laughs> you didn't hear what happened. Sorry, sweetie. I didn't tell you that I just changed to toilet tank. Come here and take a look. It's a new water-saving system. Why? Because we should use only what we have to. Why in the world did you throw the bottle into the toilet? Uh, I shouldn't have done that? No, definitely not. The toilet isn't a garbage can. We should throw this away over there. The toilet is only for sanitary use. And so that we'll use only as much water as is necessary, I've put in this new toilet tank. So how does it work? Look, if you only pee, push this button, and just enough water comes out to wash it all the way to the sewer system. And if I poop? Then push this button and more water comes out to clean everything up. And if I pee and poop, do I push both buttons? Oh, how can you actually be my boy, Ninny? Only push one button, the one you push for poop. Understand? What a clever invention. When everyone's got one, a ton of water will be saved. Yes, but it's very important that humans don't use the toilet as a garbage can when they need to dispose of small bits of trash and corrosive and dangerous liquids. You're completely right. Everything that gets flushed down the toilet goes to the sewers and then is washed out to the sea. Polluting it and contaminating its plant and animal life. I hope that humans understand the damage they do when they misuse toilets. Haha! <laughs> I like that boy. Look, he threw a bottle in the toilet. Yeah, and his dad tried to save water with these buttons. <laughs> 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 and him wanting to push both of us and use more. Ha <laughs> <laughs>
If Flu weren't enough trouble, those two rats are over there. Nasty, scheming rats! Does this really look like a toilet to you? Because you know some kids think it's a garbage can. Candy bar wrappers, little bits of modeling clay, marble frozen fish, bleach and corrosive cleaners, and everything flushed down here goes right to the sewers. <laughs> oh God. Ooh. And the day these are all filled to the brim, they'll toss all this nasty trash into the street, and they won't even be able to breathe. No, oh, that would be fantastic. That would be so cool. <laughs> Throw into the toilet all your little toys. Marbles, stickers, suckers, rattles, any kind of toys. everything in it <laughs> and then everything will get all messed up <laughs> good we've already gotten out of the garbage can we were just fine in there we could have stayed for a bit we can't slack off our mission is to get everything as dirty as we can look those rats are over there they've come here to dirty everything they can <laughs> do <laughs> poor woman First spiders and germs, and now rats. If she sees them, she's going to freak out. Ah! She's already seen them. Rats! There are rats in the house. Come on, honey, calm down. Why should I? Ah! Yeah, look, <laughs> the dog's chasing them around. Run, man, or he's gonna chop our tails He scared them to death. I'm sure you won't see them again. I hope so. I'm not worried about the rats. They're big, and the humans and the dogs see them and will drive them off. But Flu and his gang are really small, invisible to the family's eyes, and because of this, are much more dangerous. They can attack without being seen. I think they're trying all over again. Oh, no. They're trying to throw garbage into the plate of food that's cooling down for the baby. This time, we got it easy. Thanks to this garbage we fished out of the trash, we can toss a nice dose of infection into the baby food. <laughs> Come on, hold on to me. We're going to teach those dirty germs a good lesson. Ah! What's <laughs> What was that? Why are you touching the tableware? And what's up with you now? Do you have fleas? Go scratch outside. Go on, go outside. I don't want to watch how you scratch yourself inside the house. Get out. Careful, boys. That beast has found us and is going to rip us apart with his claws. Washing the spoon, the floor is clean. The floor is never clean, honey. Without meaning to, we carry dirt around in our shoes and spread it around when we walk. Wow, we then it's us who go around making everything dirty without meaning to. That's right. That's why we're very careful about everything. Before we use anything, we need to wash it. And we need to wash fruits and vegetables before we eat. That's what I like, honey. You listening to my advice. But if we have to wash all those things, we'll have to use a lot of water. And Daddy says we should save it. What we shouldn't do is waste it. But we need to use it for a lot of things. I know. You need it for almost everything. Hey, 
Look at the dog! <laughs> He's having a nice, long scratch! Flu's gonna have a bad time with that. I hope so. Good luck, guys! We're not gonna be able to hold out much longer! It must be terrible to be a flu. <laughs> And they've gotten a nice little dip. Cranky, we had a fall in a plate filled with rainwater. Clean water? How disgusting. Why is there water in this plate anyway? <laughs> a bad time, but I don't think it'd be so funny to them if they got pecked on the head. <laughs> Maybe that would teach them a good lesson. That's certainly a good system to gather rainwater for birds to drink. Since that day that they didn't have any water, this family appreciates it much more. Haven't you noticed their system of watering the flower pots? Wow! The water drips drop by drop. Each flower pot has a little hose that drips water. It's perfect, and this way it uses less water than with the watering can, and the plants are constantly moist. They don't waste even a drop. Gosh, there's only one system that's even better. What are you talking about? If each plant had its own faucet and only turned it on when it was thirsty. <laughs> That'd be cool. The baby's already asleep. Life is filled with difficult moments but also pleasant and lovely ones. We hope now that with Flu and the rats far away, this family can enjoy some peace and quiet. Bernie! What are you talking about? What's up with you, Frosty? Bernie! The fire! I know he's close by! Since you came up against him, you've been a bit jittery. I don't notice anything. Dear Lord! Fire! Over there! Was somebody saying something about being calm? That smoke! That isn't steam! Something's burning! <laughs> yes, I think so. They've burned their pork chops again. Daddy, we're burning the pork chops again. No, we're not. Not at all. They're just very well done. I think Mom's made some peas and potatoes. Well, we ate that yesterday, Daddy! And today we'll eat them again, son. You must be very careful with fire if you get distracted one minute. <laughs> Thank goodness it was a false alarm. Yeah, but they'll have to eat potatoes again. <laughs> well, thank you so much for visiting. Come back whenever you want. Uh, I? Yes? Uh, I? And us too. We were very happy to see you again. Bye for now, Milky. Shall we go, Nimbus? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Bye, Milky. Bye-bye, handsome. Nimbus! <gasps> What's wrong with you, Nimbus? What? Nimbus! <laughs> Careful with the birds, Nimbus! And remember that a nest isn't a parking place. <laughs> Not everyone can live in the countryside, surrounded by the benefits of a pure and natural environment. But if the people who live in the cities would learn to restrict the use of fossil fuels in cars and industries and expanded their green spaces, it would greatly improve the quality of their lives and that of the whole planet. We should try our hardest to do this. Everyone has their own house, but the Earth is everyone's home. <laughs>